subject to further verification. But the IIT, whichever IIT organizes uh, JEE examination, IIT JEE for selection, in, the chairman of that uh, examination committee is ex officio member in any uh, this uh, NT. But uh, the office for the director who has prepared this report is not the member. But some Mr. Gopal. Now, uh, uh, IIT, the IIT JE for 2024 was held by IIT Madras or who else? IIT Madras. It was, he is the chairman of that uh, IIT JEE examination committee, but he deputed somebody to attend meetings of NT. Oh, I see. He, he not ex officio is there to use his expertise. So I'll just take it down. IIT JEE for 2024 was conducted by IIT Madras. Yes. And the chairman of IIT who conducts IIT JEE, ex officio, is a member of NTA. And what role does IIT, uh, what role does uh, NTA have in regard to the IIT JE? Nothing, nothing. There's no. He, he is not a. Uh, just ask the director. Yes. NTA conducts JE. Yes. NTA conducts. So the actual NTA, uh, the actual IIT JE mains are conducted by NTA. Yes. Yes. Oh, I see. So IIT Madras would only set the papers or what happens? No, yes, they would exactly. conduct the examination. Advanced, they conduct JEE. Mains is conducted, Mains is conducted by NT. So Mains is conducted by? <coughs> NTA. By NTA. That's like the preliminary exam. The mains. Advanced. No, advanced is like no no mains. Advanced is only mains IIT. May final. Advanced is only for IIT. Whosoever is intended to get admission in IIT, they opt for the advanced. Otherwise, all other all other are yeah, only the admissions are on the basis of IIT uh, J E mains. The mains. And IIT J E E advanced. NTA doesn't conduct that. So IIT JE advanced is conducted by whom? NTA. No. It's conducted by IITs. IITs or one IIT? One IIT. It is conducted by IITs. One become the organizing IIT. This year it was IIT Madras. Okay. So like the CLAD. Yes. So this year, uh, the IIT JEE advanced. The organizing, uh, the organizer was IIT Madras. This Correct. Year. Okay. And but not, he has gone into city-wise as well as center-wise analysis. Now, when you said that the chairperson of IIT JEE is the next official member of NTA, governing body yes. of NTA. the government, is a, is, a, is ex officio a member of the governing body? Yes. Then governing body it has no correlation with the activities of the conduct of the exam. So, so the IIT JEE, uh, the, the 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 chairperson. So this time, who was the chairperson? I took this time chair for he was the chair. He was the chairperson. He deputed one Mr. Gopal Krishnan to attend the meetings on his behalf. No, but who was the chairperson? Uh, Ms. The, the director of IIT Madras was the chairperson? For yes. yes. Because IIT Madras was the organizing body. So IIT Madras was the organizing body both for the uh, mains as well as advance, only for advance. Only advance. Mains was, mains was conducted by NT, NT. by us entirely. But IIT Madras's uh, director was an ex-official member of the governing body, which is a, 
kind of, of a NTA, policy making of nta and is he an ex officio member only for this year or generally he would be whichever iit conducts the exam of for that year he becomes a member of the governing body all right i got it but i must tell you a lot she's not that uh, what is placed in the report is my lot for say a city wise spread of top so this, this time the director iit madras would be ex officio member of the uh, governing nta but he had deputed somebody else on his behalf to attend the meetings one mr Go professor gopal krishna Lord, uh, and i have city wise and center wise so, uh, that that i'm explaining But deputy professor or doctor? Gopal Krishna. Professor Gopal Krishna. But if my learned friend is going on the question of bias, that may not help here. I have said with him, my lord, I have examined everything which he has done. Yeah, I can show it to a lot of and but it is city wise, center wise, and at the national level. Yes, sir. Just I, show I, that there is no. That you can indicate when your turn comes. Not yet. All right. Now without, tell without us. Without showing the document, but that city wise and center wise, the first table is, my lord, the, uh, the bell curve of twenty three thousand people. Uh, 20, I'm sorry, 23 lakh people. The second table is city wise top ranker analysis, the top 100, how top 100s are spread over across the cities. Then there is a table which gives uh, the uh, seat. Can we do this, Mr. Huda, to understand your submission? Can we just look at the uh, report of IIT Madras? Yes, I state away demonstrate. Let's go straight there because yes, no, let us okay. first understand what they have done. Yes, sir. Uh, that's, that's a great look. Lord, may kindly see the uh, reply uh, filed by them on 10th of July. Just one second. Seal number one, sir. Bye. Yeah, of India. Additional affidavit dated 10th of July, filed on behalf of respondent number two, Lord. 28 dated 10th of July. Correct, Lord. That's right. Lord, this is this is respondent number two. An extra A, Lord. Page 12. Hey, uh, page 952. Huh? It's analysis of the 17 candidates or no? Uh, no this annexure is data analytics of NEET UG 2024. Annexure A. No, it may be part of the petition filed by Shivangi Mishra. I Shivangi Mishra. Because that was the first. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it is in Shivangi Mishra's case, Miller, because they didn't file it in my case. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we got it. But copies are served on us. Yes, that is copies are served. from IIT Madras, pages yes, 12 to 18. Let's uh, see that. Uh... Yes. Now, uh, <laughs> can you see, and at page 12, is uh, uh, Miller, uh, uh, there's an executive summary given on page 1, and then Miller, uh, the charts. Executive summary Miller, uh, uh, indicates they have gone all the uh, way to explain what if I can read it, uh, the executive summary. Yes. Marks distribution follows the bell shaped curve, which is witnessed in any large scale examination. In uh, just one second. Yeah. Uh, executive summary, Miller, short summary. Marks distribution follows bell-shaped curve that is witnessed 
in any large scale examination indicating no abnormality. CT wise and center wise analysis done for two years, 23, 24, to find out if there are any abnormal indication. Analysis is carried out for the top 1.4 lakh ranks, given that the total number of seats across the country is around 1.1 lakh. This analysis is granular enough to indicate any abnormality had a large number of students gotten into high rank top 5% due to malpractice or if students from a particular exam center or city were benefited. The analysis show that there is neither any indication of mass malpractice nor a uh, localized set of candidates being benefited leading to abnormal scores. I would say this is beyond their brief what they are stating here. Okay. D, there is an overall increase in the marks obtained by student 